Pennsylvania Soldier 762 here. Today I'm going to go over some <clears throat> these are my SHTF rifle choices. I've got a Polish underfolder here that I built from a parts kit on a Nodex Bud receiver. And then this is a the infamous Wasser 1063. So, you know, these rifles get a bad rep. When you get them, they're not the prettiest thing in the world. But they are what they are. They're an AK variant. <clears throat> they work just fine. I've never had a single issue with this one. It, you know, if you're someone who likes to mess around with guns, then they're they're perfect. You know, a few things I did, <clears throat> I re polished the hammer, reprofiled it a little bit. Sm you know, smoothed the action out. Uh, changed the crappy stock furniture. That's a KVAR stock, which are really nice, but I screwed up and got the Warsaw length, and I needed the NATO length one, so right now it's got a TAPCO six-position stock, which feels really good. But if I keep a six-position stock on there, I think I'll go with the Voltar receiver extension in, like, a Magpul MOE stock. Uh, this is a hand guard I got from KVAR also. I kind of went cheap. I got that from their bargain bin. It's I paid I think 20 bucks for it or something because it has a little tiny scratch on it. I don't even know if you can see it, but right there. But you know, I got a killer really figure. I got that, and I got that handguard for eleven dollars. When a regular KVAR stock set is 106 bucks for the handguard, that and the little thin normal AK pistol grip. I've got the hoe grip on it, which I love. It makes it just feel like a whole, diff whole different gun in your hand when you're shooting it. Tech sights. These things are awesome. I would suggest these for any AK owner. It's got a dual aperture fl flip up sight. Uh, just it, it doubles, about doubles the length of your sight radius. You know, normally it's from here to here. Now you got all that, which really improves your accuracy. Uh, K, uh, these are Circle 10 mags from KVAR, which are great mags. You know, that's all I would use from now on, probably. I mean, the regular standard, you know, military issue, Bulgarian or whatever, steel mags are good too. But, you know, these are top quality mags, the Circle 10s. And another thing, you know, these, like I said, these guns, the washers aren't pretty when you get them. They're, they're pretty ugly. I actually painted this one with just... Uh, high temperature engine enamel and flat and flat and then I went over it and just slightly just dusted it with a, a semi gloss and it really I think it turned out great you know it's held up really well you know I'm not easy on it I throw it around and stuff and it's you know figure ten dollar paint job and if it scratches I'll just touch it up again it, and it's held up fine same thing on this one. This Nodak receiver comes blued, but the, and but some of the parts were black, you know, painted like a, I don't know if it's a Molly resin or something, but it, it's a it was a virgin Polish parts kit, and it was amazing. I got it from akbuilder.com. I mean, it was really really immaculate parts, really nice. And one thing I like about the Polish or the Yugos is <clears throat> the underfolding stock goes in line with the receiver. So you get a really good cheek weld. That's some people's complaints with the underfolders is when you shoot them, you, you're, you don't get a good cheek weld when you're, when you're trying to get a sight picture. And with this stock, it's perfect. I have no problems at all. You know, it's really solid. It's got a good lockup. I painted this one also just with the Krylon, you know, $10 paint job, and it's held up great too. I'm going to stain and refinish the hand guards, but, you know, they look, good the way they came. One thing I really like is the Bakelite grip. I, I traditionally, I didn't like the traditional grips at first because the one that came on the washer was just so pencil thin, but I think that might have been a century one or something that they, that they make in-house because this is like, it's got a really fat profile and it feels great in my hand, you know, it's got about the same thickness as the hog, so I kept it on there and I think it looks good. But this is just a Polish under folder I took from a parts kit and did a screw build with. I still have to finish. There's a couple things I need to do to it still, but it's a it's a great gun.
but these are my two shit hits the fan rifle choices. Here's some pictures of my AK parts kit as it was being built and <clears throat> here's also some images of the before and after of the paint job. Drop more help. 